anyone else. We can talk about that later. Follow me. The clock's ticking. <sighs> he was here recently. Do you smell the burning wood? Max loved that smell. He and Mom would sit by the fireplace for hours just listening to the embers crackling. Keith would watch them from the corner of his eye, pretending to be reading over on that sofa. I can see how there was something troubled in him even then, as if the world he saw wasn't the same one the rest of us lived in. You could have prevented all of this suffering and death if you had just come clean in the first place. But instead you used me. Why, Cordelia? Why did you choose me? Because I saw you, in those visions at the towers. You were there, trying to help me when everyone else just crossed their arms and let Max die. You're a rebel, Erica. You were hurt enough by the death of your brother that you could be driven to killing Keith. It was the only way. But for that, you needed to be vulnerable. I saw it. And so you hurt everyone close to me. Manipulated my life for your needs? Ugh! We're wasting time. Let's continue this search. A razor blade, and not too rusty. This could come in handy. A magnifying glass. Always helps to have one for getting its splinters. Nothing like stocking your own crime scene kit with everyday household items. An empty cup. This could come in handy. So this is what a serial killer family sink looks like. Pretty similar to everyone else's. It must have been really hard for her. What are we looking for? Let's try the basement. Over there. <sighs> Kane's lair. This is the first trap. The George siblings in the old factory. And this one. Joe and Cameron, when he started using tombs. Janelle and Robert, he planned it all here. Scott? He never lets them live. There's always a backup plan ever since me and Max. You're the only one who ever got away from him. Cordelia, what was done to you was unspeakable. More than probably anyone else, I understand. But what you've done is wrong. Don't pretend you know me just because you've seen my past. What Keith did was wrong. I am not like Keith. I did good, Erica. Someone had to stop Antony and Joey. I saved others. They will never kill again. I can't say that I condemn you for stopping them. But why Davies? Why Sully? They were doing their jobs. No, they weren't. They didn't listen. The night I took Joey, he was headed to Melissa's apartment. I tried to warn Sully, but he didn't listen. Melissa? If you hadn't sent your warning as a cryptic message, he would have done something about it. I know, Sully. But what did you want me to do? Tell him I could see the future? I already tried that, remember? Didn't go too well. You're still wrong, Cordelia. You're pretending that this is all about poetic justice, but deep inside, this is just an excuse to get your revenge. That's why you want McAdams. He killed Joe Hollowell in one of these. There's something different about it.
Erica, you're good with these. Maybe you should take a look at this one. Right. So that if anyone gets stabbed, it's me again. I'll look at it in a minute. What is this? Another one of his games. And how do we solve this one? If I knew the answer, I would have already solved it. Ideas, Cordelia? Frustrating. Give up. Well, I don't have all night. Erica, the stuff you're saying. Keep it up. I think I'm getting something related to it through my power that will help us open this thing. Do you have any ideas, Cordelia? I think that sarcophagus is our best starting point. Looks like I can push these in and out. I should try moving them around. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. Come on! Open up, you piece of crap! What's the trick to this thing? Erica, the stuff you're saying. Keep it up. I think I'm getting something related to it through my power that will help us open this thing. <laughs> this is impossible. There's no way I can do this without help. Ugh, this is getting really frustrating. Someone's about to die, and I'm here playing with a toy. Open, damn it! I give up. Great. Look at all this stuff. Nails and hair. I didn't know he was this disturbed. At least not back when he was out killing freely. This isn't uncommon for serial killers. Wait. What's this? My high school graduation ring? What is this doing? Oh, Scotty's bracelet. I wondered where this had gone. He took a lot from both, from a lot of people. Did you know, da did you know Davy's family? What do you care? You murdered her. This looks familiar. Seen it before? I have, but not put together like this. He knows about us, doesn't he? Of course, and he must be experimenting on us right now. How long would a pair of scions take to solve this puzzle? I can almost hear him. You didn't even plan all of it, did you? It was him. He helped me put it together. He gave me ideas. He played you, that's what he did. No, I was in control. Where is he then? You were supposed to kill him. <sighs> what a stupid plan.
What are we supposed to do with these? If I know Keith, it's some sort of combination. I'm getting tired of this game. What are you going to do when we find Keith? He's going to answer for what he's done. What do you want it to be, Cordelia? I don't know. What matters to me is that he understands that I'm doing this for him too. Maybe to make up for what he's done to all those people. For what he did to you and your brother. Maybe I should have come right to you, Erica, instead of trying to connect from a distance. What about what you've done? He used all of the figurines in each pin. He's just trying to confuse you. He knew you'd try it. This is where the group for this trap goes. This one doesn't... This one doesn't fit. This is where the group for this trap goes.
This is where the group for this trap goes. This is where the group for this trap goes. This one doesn't fit. This one does Is that still sure you were the one in control? There is a Max figurine. It's in a place only Cordelia would know. Anything? He talked to me. He says the next one is Max's, and that only you would know where it is. Damn you, Keith. Can you give me one thing straight? Let's look around to see if my memory triggers. He was here recently. Max would spend hours there. Maybe this is what Keith meant. This was Max's favorite place in the house. Now we need to put out the fire to search through it. This should help. Now let's look. I found Max, I think. You can keep it. I thought you liked his games. I never did. That was the problem. <sighs> it's badly burned. There's something written on it, but it's way too small for me to read. It says, find a light in the darkness. Any ideas? No, but I can look around and see if I remember anything. Daddy, with Senator Aaron Light. 
This must be Cordelia's father with someone important. That's Daddy. Things would be so different if he was still around. He's with Senator Aaron Light. Good man. She had a niece. Davies did. She loved her to pieces. When she was around, you could almost see Davies smile. Maybe she wasn't perfect, but she didn't deserve what you did to her. Even if she didn't help you when she could have, even if you went to prison. Maybe she didn't deserve her rank, but everyone deserves to live. Daddy would have said that. He liked people that did good. He said the Senator's last name was not a coincidence. Wait, Aaron Light. A light. Look for a light. Keith, you tricky little... Erica, look at this. Did he hide it there? Only one way to find out. Here, let me take a look. Ugh. I'd be very eager to kill him if I were you. My job is justice, not revenge. I'm not like you. We'll see, when the two of you are face to face. It's Cordelia. There's one missing. This must be who we're looking for. Knowing Keith, we're not going to find it easily. We'll need to figure this one out. This. No, but I know where they are now. I just saw it. Shit, they must have followed me. Not so fast. You need to get me out of here. I can leave through the back, but you have to help me. Oh, shit. Go! You'll need this. Bring McAdams to Mount Auburn Cemetery. Where Scott died? We'll save your dad. He's one of the good guys. What were you doing back there? That doesn't matter. You have to listen to me. If you are not going to answer my questions, save it for your attorney, Reed. McAdams. What? <sighs> Can we stop for a minute? I'm getting carsick. I wasn't born yesterday, Reed. Suck it up. Jerk. I also wasn't born deaf. Or blind. <sighs> yeah, right. He's not gonna listen to a word I have to say as long as he's in control of this situation. I need to get out of these cuffs and into that driver's seat. Somehow. We're still on the back roads. The highway is another few miles away. If I'm gonna get out of here, or convince him to let me go, I need to do it before then. I've really done it this time. How the hell am I gonna get out of this? How am I gonna get him to come with me, willing to know? McAdams. What? 
Not with the window closed. McAdams. What? Not with the window closed. <sighs> McAdams locked the windows. Only he can roll it down. McAdams. What? Mind rolling the window down? Your cologne's killing me here. Fine. What are you doing? Trying to stretch. You might not know this, but sitting in a car in cuffs, not very comfortable. Hmm. I need some noise in here. That could help distract McAdams. If only I could get it turned on. McAdams. What? Fine, you win the quiet game. Turn on the radio, at least. Your comfort is not my concern at this point. Why don't we talk about what you did to Cordelia Smith, then? You want to discuss that? Because I could spend the whole ride talking about it. Fine. Radio it is. I'm sorry, but I don't have time for this. Are you fucking insane, Reed? Let me out of these cuffs now! I can't do that, McAdams. Kane is out there, and if I don't bring you to her, he's going to kill my father. What the hell are you talking about? McAdams, I... Save it. I have no interest in anything you have to say at this point, Reed. You attacked a federal agent, and now you handcuff your supervisor? How the fuck do you think this is going to end? I didn't want it to go down like this, McAdams. If you'd just trusted me, if you'd ever trust anyone, we wouldn't even be in this situation. That's what your problem is. What are you talking about? You haven't trusted me since Scott was kidnapped, if ever. But if you'd actually given Cordelia Smith a chance, a lot of people might still be alive today. Reed, goddammit! Anyone that pulls half the shit you've pulled over these years would have been fired on the spot. You still had your job because Davies and I knew you were a good agent. My job requires me to do things by the book. You don't like the book. I get that. But what I've done, I've done to protect you. And your life will be much easier the minute that you understand that I'm not your enemy. What do you know about Cordelia Smith? I know the truth. I know what you did. Ignored her? Arrested her? The cover-up? All of it. You refuse to stop living in the past, Reed. Mistakes happen. They may be tragic, but there's no going back. You're right. There's no changing the past or bringing back the people you've lost or wronged. The best anyone can do is learn from it. If it happened again today, I'd do things differently. I'm sorry for what happened to that woman, but there's nothing I can do about it now. You aren't the only one who lost someone you cared about. I know you're still hung up on me because of Jetta. You think I don't regret how that went? Wouldn't you still be looking for Stelios if John hadn't killed him that night? The difference is that I wouldn't have gone out on a personal vendetta. You have too much responsibility for the people you've sworn to protect to be acting like that. The minute we make it personal is when we risk the lives of those who count on us. Look, I'm just asking you to listen. I'm not crazy. Kane is back out there, and he will kill my father if I don't hurry. And what makes you so certain of any of that? The man's been a ghost for three years now. Are you sure this isn't your feelings clouding your judgment once again?
I know because Cordelia Smith is the one behind every killing, and the Kane killer is her brother Keith Smith, a.k.a. Jeff Therian. How can I believe you given the way you've been acting? You shot John! That was an accident. You're FBI. Your job doesn't allow for accidents. Fine. You're gonna have to explain that one to me. You found this information at the towers? Yes, there's more. I'd rather do this with your help, McAdams, but I'm doing it either way. Keith Smith has been missing and presumed dead for six years. What a better way to get away with murder. He forced Cordelia to kill Max after learning he wasn't their biological brother. She took the blame, and he was free to disappear and keep killing. Think about it, McAdams. He fits the profile. Caucasian male, 25 to 45, highly intelligent, obsessed with his work, plenty of reasons to be hung up on close sibling relationships. Shit. Then where the hell has he been for the last three years? Chained up in the basement of the Enthon Towers. What? So what's it gonna be? Fine. If it'll bring them in and save your father, you've got my help. I have to warn you. Cordelia wants you dead. I can take care of myself. How do you know where the hell you're heading? Cordelia told me. You just told me this woman is a murderer. And she's also a victim of your negligence. Are you justifying her, Reed? No, McAdams. I know what my job is. I'm just saying that sometimes things aren't as black and white as I wish they were. Not even in that book of yours. You came. I told you I'd help. You brought him. What do you want with him? That is between him and me. Don't we have something better to do than chat about this? You're right. Let's go. We're wasting time. So we're working with a killer now, Reed. Is that your big plan? Listen. She brought me here. I feel I can trust her intentions. He's down there. If we want to save your father, we'll have to play his game. We'll have to let him capture us. Otherwise, the outcome... I can't see it ending well. How is that a good plan at all? We'll have a chance. I see these sorts of things, remember? You have to trust me. You'll betray me. You've seen that one too? I told you, the future is a fickle thing. I do want to help you, Erica, but I am who I am. I make no promises about what happens down there. The same. I can't promise what I'll do after my father is safe. Are you ready? Will you keep my father safe? I'll handle Kane. You're too invested in this, Erica. I'll do my job, McAdams. But I know Kane better than you do. Fine. But I'll be there if you screw up. Dad! He's alive, still. Why do you have to bring a full party? It makes things more... difficult. Let him go, you bastard! Didn't you get enough with Scott? No. I've been waiting too long to finish this. And it has to be done right. Cordelia, would you tie Erica to this? And if you try anything, I will shoot someone, and that might be you. Apologies, Agent. Make sure those are tight. Did you take her weapon? Yes. And his? You don't need to worry about him. He's my problem. Take care of him. Stand over there where I can see you both. You wanted to copy me eventually, Cordelia. Isn't that right? Kill me? The same I kill? I never wanted to kill you, Keith. No. You just made me wish I was dead. The Cordelia I loved, she would never be so cruel. You changed everything when you made me kill Max. 
And we're here now and can't even talk the way we used to. That connection only you and I had. I don't want you dead, but for this to stop, you have to die. It's a mystery to me what goes on in your beautiful brain sometimes, but I have a theory. What will you do after I'm dead? I never mourned over Max's death, but... But you do have a conscience, Cordelia, and you've been suppressing it so you could act freely. But when it wakes up, when moms and dads and Max's memory awaken you, there won't be a swift death that will allow your brain to cope with what you've done to get here. Your domino effect failed, just as I knew it would. Agent Reed never killed me. And so, who will kill me now, sister? It won't be you. We both know that your conscience wouldn't let you. Exactly my thoughts. And Erica Reed. I've learned so much about you over the years. Now we finally get to be properly introduced. I'm curious to know how much pain you can endure. As I push this lever, this spike will move towards you. If you scream, if you do so much as whisper, I will press this at full speed in the other direction, over to your father. It will kill him. Instantly. What do you get from all this? It's a subject that's always interested me, these human connections of love and family. Because the only time I felt a connection to her, she preferred someone else. So, shall we begin the experiment? I knew you'd betray me! I said silence! I'll let this one pass. Do it again, and it's over for your father. Dad, do it now! McAdams, are you okay? We have to go after him. Cordelia, what are you doing? I... He let Max die. Yes, he did, but he couldn't have known. And that's why he deserves this. I can't change what happened, Miss Smith. But killing me won't bring your brother back. You could have done more. You're right. He was lazy, and he didn't do his job. But please don't do it. But I want the closure. I want peace. Let's find and kill Keith. You are lying. You don't want to kill him. McAdams, are you hurt? I'll live. Stay with my dad. I'm gonna catch Kane. Catch her, too. <sighs> You're not getting away this time. You think I didn't search these tunnels a hundred times already trying to find you? How can he just vanish without a trace? We've been searching this place forever, Red. I think we've reached a dead end here. Hey, listen, kid. You're exhausted. You haven't slept in days. I can't give up, John. I have to find whoever did this. We'll keep searching, Erica. We'll find him. But let's go home tonight. You need some rest, kid.
Erica! Erica, wake up, please! Don't get me the fuck out of here! I'm trying! Where's King? I don't know. I promise I don't know. I'm trying to help you. We have to get you out of here before the fire consumes everything. I need to enter a code to free you, but I can only see part of it here. I need you to look at the valve on the side of the platform. He probably entered the code there. I can't see it. Use your power. I can't reach it. Right. Okay, let me figure this out. Controls the chain's position. It locks the crane's rotation. It's locked. me.
you will be an angel among those like us. And you were right about my conscience, Keith. Good job back there, Reed. I'll drop any charges against you. But this time, I can't shield you from internal affairs. You'll have to speak to them before coming back. I know I'll have to deal with them still, but... I'm not coming back. Did this break you? I've done some thinking, and I'm not cut out for this job. I've butted heads with the Bureau too many times to keep ignoring it. And it's too much of a reminder of my worst mistake. I shot John. Learn from it, but don't dwell on it. I can't say that I'll miss you, but I meant what I said before. I was never your enemy. I know. I don't hold it against you. Stay out of trouble, Reed. Of course I won't. You finally caught him. Now what? I don't know, Dad. I'm just glad that it's over. I thought I had lost you, too. You were here, but for a while now, you've been even further away than Scotty. And I've been no better. Dad, there are a lot of things you don't know about me. You're right. For how close we used to be, we've practically been strangers since that night. I think we tried to cope with his death in our own separate ways, but we've never really tried together. I'd like to change that. I think it would make Scotty happy. I think it would too. Goodbye, Scotty. I think I owe you this. I heard you're leaving the force. So who's gonna bring me donuts now? I hear Sully knows a great place. Shouldn't you be in the hospital? Hey, my mama said... What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yeah, something like that. Look, I'm sorry, kiddo. I really am. I guess we're even now. I don't blame you, John. Cordelia's power made her crazy. She was tortured over the things she saw, over her loss. I don't want to be that person. And I felt so close to the edge so many times. So is that what you're doing? Trying to get it under control? Maybe. For now, I just want to spend some time with my dad. And then, who knows? Rose told me that there are others out there like me, other Scions. If I can do anything to help those people, I must. Cordelia could have been saved. She didn't need to go down that path. I'm gonna miss you, Skippy. I'm sure you can find another rookie to train. I'm not exactly the best role model out there, Erica. You were the only person that tried to help Cordelia at all. You believed in me because of what happened with her. That says something. And besides, the only reason I'm the best is that you trained me.
Never thanked you for the gifts you gave